honestly, it was about time this video was made and people can generally see the difference between professionalism, class, and just some cheap trick and clickbaiting stuff that people do, you know, just to get the attention that they want. And there's the perfect video right here, man. My boy Sugar deserved more than this, you know, like the whole world just went up against him, man. I'm like this guy, I miss all of this. He still stayed through it and we 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 got the real footage and it's just outrageous how this shit went on for so long and you know, it's finally done with. Not even done with, but you know, it's getting to the end of it, but let, let, let's see what really did come out of it apart from, you know, my guy being put in this position, you know, what did actually, did you all gain out of this apart from your hit? Like, you know, just unprofessionally being actually on display and on blast, you know, like. Hi, everybody. I know that many out, of man. you are exhausted, worried about what's happening with Shaga. We know that it's going to be sent to the prosecutor's office this week. That's what right. the police said. Okay. At this stage, I kind of just want to highlight how classy Shoga has been the last several weeks. Mm -hmm. I know, I feel like that's the best way we can honor his Honestly, music and yeah. his art and the contributions that he has made in Korean music, in our lives. Mm -hmm. Um, I also want to start a conversation on ethical journalism and what we can do to change it. Now, I just want to make... Honestly, it's... I feel like leaving that part of it or like trying to bring, you know, like content creator like such as her, you know, who bring a brighter light to, you know, the actual stuff that need to be paid attention to, you know, it's... It's a good step, but it's like a step right after, you know, everything already happened within the nation, you know, I mean, where like the actual real journalism or journalists, you know, are called out for this kind of stuff that they do, you know what I mean? Not showing the professionalism, you know, make sure they have right sources that give them facts after facts and like it's actual the truth, you know, and then this, you know, the actual content can come after, you know, rather than it just being like, oh, all the content creator come first and, you know tell yourself accountable and like actually you need, you know speak up about no like it, it goes further than that something very very clear i will never condone hating an entire country or an entire race based on the actions of the few or even of the many right and that is exactly what's happening here it's just there are few gossip writers parading themselves to be journalists who are starting this negativity, bullying, lying, blackmailing. Right. But it does not represent the entirety of Korea. Of I have been to doesn't. Korea so many times and I've had nothing but great experiences. The mm -hmm. people that I've met, spent time with, have been compassionate, generous. Obviously, you know, as she said, like, this doesn't essentially represent the whole South Korea. You know what I mean? But it's just how much of a influence and i don't know what's the other word that can describe it perfectly but like influence and just like the power that was just displayed here in terms of like this isn't the whole nation that is doing this but a certain amount of it but the power that they had to the point where like it felt like the whole nation was doing this you know what i mean it's it's really crazy if you think about it. You know what I mean? Like as much as we can be like, okay, you know, the whole nation isn't doing this. This is a part of it or some people of it. The influence and just the power that they displayed is just insane to just go unnoticed. You know, it's friendly, very very loving, and you will never convince me otherwise. I also mm -hmm. have a Korean community here in the U.S. I love them. I have come to know their quirks, their idiosyncrasies, their beauty inside and out. And I will not have them any other way. <laughs> so I hope that we all understand that everything that we see in the media, specifically the gossip writers, mm -hmm. those do not represent the sentiment of the entirety of Korea. And oh, yeah. that definitely does not represent journalism. I'll take your word for it. Okay. Yes. All right. If you ended up liking this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification button. And uh, share the video if you can onto the video. Mm -hmm. Hey, man. She seems like she knows what she's doing. She be talking with, she be saying the most difficult words, man. <laughs> All right. 
it's not always easy to take the high road and it doesn't come naturally to a lot of people. There's just a certain amount of satisfaction that comes with putting people in their places and suing them to poverty. So when I see someone elevating themselves above everyone else, even though they can take everyone down, it makes me admire them even more. That's what I'm seeing in Shoga right now. As we all know, he is being treated like a criminal for merely driving an electric scooter while drunk. When he went to the police station for questioning for God knows what, he faced the media through the photo line even though he could have rejected it. Photo line refers to a line marked with yellow tape in front of the prosecutor's office where the person officially summoned for questioning or examination in the case of a warrant for detention stands for a while for a photo or question and answer session. Mm -hmm. It is very similar to the yellow tape police line demarcating a crime or an accident scene, which bystanders are not supposed to cross. The photo line in South Korea was introduced by the News Photographers Association in 2006 because of the overheated competition to get better pictures of suspects, mostly political or economic big shots. That's that's what I was wondering, you know, where did this culture of the photo line thing started? But I thought it was going to be some thing about, you know, the government actually brought it. So it, it shows a sense of like punishment. Or it, I mean, it does show it. But, you know, for me to hear that it, it was the photographers that made this up and it actually got brought into an actual thing that actually happens. It's crazy. You know what I mean? So you can get a picture. Like, are you kidding me right now, bro? Like, don't get me wrong, you know, a country can have its own stuff, but it's like, seriously? So you can get a good picture that showcases an embarrassment or like, so you can use it as a image or face of this person all over the social media for that certain amount of time. Like, this is outrageous, man. <laughs> Sugar has apologized twice in writing and mm. twice through the press, despite not having damaged anything or anyone. Mm. Is it a business move to be humble more than it is a moral calling? That is beside the point. At this point in his career and life, he doesn't need to work anymore. No. He has enough success under his belt and all the money he can ever spend. More importantly, he can continue producing and writing, something he loves doing anyway, if he ever steps away from the limelight. Thanks. Yet, he chooses to apologize. Four times. For driving a scooter 500 meters while drunk. Nobody got hurt. Nothing got damaged. You know, the crazy thing to me is the fact that the more that we keep actually digging more into this, the more we keep finding even more unreasonable things that you know were just thrown out of proportion like he drove or like he rode the scooter for 100 or 500 meters and this is a whole thing that hit the headlines of every nation not every nation but the whole nation you know what i mean it's like the more it keeps being dug deep the more you like wow wow is this a cultural issue Koreans are known for being perfectionists, for being critical, mm -hmm. for having quote-unquote high moral standard. Right. More serious crimes have been committed where actual damages to properties and human beings were committed by celebrities. Yang Yun Sook, the founder and current producer of YG Entertainment, was actually proven guilty of threatening and coercing a young woman to change oh, wow. her statement in relation to one of his artist's drug use. Mm. He was sentenced to six months and is now managing the careers of eight girls. He never apologized. Sungri, a former member of boy band Big Bang, was proven guilty of yeah. abusing women, taking videos of them without her I've consent and pimping them. He spent 18 pimping. months in prison after <laughs> writing a non-apology apology letter. Let's get closer to the case. There have been more severe cases of DUI by celebrities. Korean singer Kim Ho Jung admitted to a hit and run that happened in May in Gangnam, Seoul. CCTV footage showed a vehicle hitting Damn. a taxi and speeding off. Kim Ho Jung it's, initially it's denied sideways. that he was... You know, it's, it's crazy like when 
receipts are genuine, like right in the public eye. Yet, you know, there's that imbalance, and also just the fact that you know nothing is being kept to the same standard as the rest of them. You know what I mean? Like that's where it actually hurts. BTS fans and also the army, you know what I mean? Like, there's literally injustice being done here, you know what I mean? In terms of, like, this is a person that has held himself accountable personally and also in the public eye, you know? Like, he hasn't denied anything. He hasn't even tried to make himself, like, a good person. He's come out be like, yep, that's my mistake. I take everything that I've done wrong, and I'm still going to be here. I need to answer more questions, you know what I mean? And yet, there's this stuff that are being shown to us to a point where, like, people have done even worse than what he has done. And they haven't done anything. And 18 months in prison, 6 months, you know, whatever the case may be. Like, compared to this? Driving the vehicle, but later admitted it. His manager actually was the one who wore Kim Ho Jung's clothes and appeared at the police station to falsely say that he was the driver of the vehicle. Mm. The manager also removed the black box memory card of Kim Ho Jung's vehicle. Yeah. Kim Ho Jung surrendered to the police the following day or 17 hours after the incident. He was not charged for drunk driving as the prosecution concluded it was difficult to estimate his blood alcohol level at the time of the incident since he fled the scene and surrendered the following day. Another case is ex-Pittsburgh Pirates infielder Jung Ho Kang. He was suspended for a year and has to perform 300 hours of community service over a series of drunk driving cases. Actress Kim Se-ron hitting a transformer box and attempting to flee the scene. Police wanted to conduct a breathalyzer test on her, but she requested a blood test to be done at the hospital. Due to the crash, electricity of 57 nearby stores and homes was cut off for roughly three hours. In April 2023, Seoul Central District Court ruled that because she confessed to the crime and attempted to compensate for the damage, she would be sentenced to a fine of 20 million Korean won or about 15,200. Ah, oh, man. So what, you all? Honestly, I'm just waiting since she mentioned at the beginning that uh, sugar thing is just going to be done this coming week or this whole week. I want to see the end result of it because what I'm hearing here is just outrageous. You know what I mean? In terms of like what has actually been done and the consequences that are being given back to them, you know, are just like, oh, wow. You know, what is that? And then Sugar is actually being publicly, his image is being damaged, which he already took accountability. And by all means, you know what I mean? I mean, if, if it's a bad thing for somebody to drive or like ride a scooter for 500 meters and fall down, the most harmless fall down ever. Not even himself was even scar or anything like that. If that's an issue, what else isn't an issue? You know what I mean? It's just outrageous. The U.S. dollars at that time. So is this a cultural issue? If it is, shouldn't Yang Yun Sok not be allowed 100 miles within any girl? Sung Ri should still be in jail. Mm -hmm. Kim Ho Jung and Kim Se Ron should be in jail. So yes, it is cultural, just not the one that they like invoking. It isn't about superior moral standards. This is about gossip writers' culture of bullying, sensationalism, and the need to destroy people because it's the only way they could feel useful. Because all on their own, they really have nothing innately good to offer and contribute to the society. At Michael's, Halloween shopping is one of a kind. You look great. So do you. Get ready. This here is going to be a night that we never will forget. Blood on the hands of Korean gossip writers. South Korea's criminal law actually prohibits publishing information on suspected crime before official charges are filed. This is to prevent undue public attention yeah. and judgment, right. especially with the possibility that the internal investigation may find insufficient evidence and mm -hmm. the case could be dropped. Yet the police and the media have actually violated this rule. 
What when Parasite actor Lee Sung Kyun was suspected hey. of drug use. No, 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 no. If you guys go to some of the videos that I've watched about this sugar thing or investigation going on about sugar, I've actually literally said the investigation shouldn't be intervened with in terms of like whatever is being put out because it does mess up with the evidence and everything that is being provided. And I literally said anything that is literally being done on the news outlet right now shouldn't be happening because it's interviewing with an ongoing investigation. You know what I mean? Since they say it's, it's an investigation right after, you know, and they took him in, right? That's what I literally said. So this is, yeah. ...and other crimes. The police Bro, leaked its the... internal investigation to the press in October 2023. Mm -hmm. The media and eventually the public called Lee a hypocrite, a drug criminal hiding behind the image of an ideal dad. They didn't care that Lee tested negative in multiple drug tests. They didn't care that he was a victim of blackmail. All right. Before his last appearance before the police, he requested it be kept private and his request was denied. He was paraded to the press and they were more than happy to shame him in the guise of journalism. He was found dead days after. Kim Garam is a 16-year-old girl no. who debuted under Hybe with Lesser of Him. Just months into her career, someone came forward accusing her of bullying when they were in middle school. The media branded her as such, a bully, determining she was guilty before a trial. Unless she can prove otherwise. They determined she was unfit to become a role model and doesn't deserve a chance. At 16... She does not deserve a chance. There was no regard to the fact that she was a minor being accused by another minor. Mm -hmm. There wasn't any intention to find the truth. They just wanted a villain. And they found one. Facts. Public outcry. Many. Uh, that's just so sad, man. Like, who, who's out here, you know, trying to... Is this crazy how, like, everybody's ready to point fingers... And not even give it a second thought. You know what I mean? And that's the sad reality. And that's literally where the journalism comes in. You know what I mean? It's like, that's what it is now. You know what I mean? It's not where like people actually provide news and keep people informed. It's more about this kind of stuff. You know, obviously she mentioned like the Korea or like South Korea has this cultural standards and like i've seen it and sometimes i'm like oh i love that you know what i mean it's like it keeps them moral to what the actual culture is you know what i mean sometimes it's good and like when you see this kind of stuff it's like whoa you know what i mean there's actually a dark side to it and it's just outrageous how like everybody's just out for one another and if you just watch what was the dude channel name soul light tv he was literally using the crab metaphor or like you know, that imagery thing to describe, like, you know, a crab cannot climb out of a bucket without the other crab pulling it down. Like, nobody gets to get out, you know? That's literally it. If not all of Koreans find this excessive, owing to the fact that almost no one knows it is illegal to drive a scooter drunk, even the police was actually confused with the laws. Many also feel that since nothing and no one was damaged, this should have been a quick and clean case. But gossip writers chose to cater to the other side, the ones who hate, many of whom don't even reside in Korea. As per the police, they will turn over the case to the prosecution within the week, but irreparable damages have already been done on all parties, to Suga, to Korean media, and to the police. But through it all, there is only one party who has maintained his class, and that is Sugar. My God. Before we go into ethical journalism, I just want to acknowledge what armies have been able to do the past several days. Many of Sugar's songs and BTS songs, old songs, are actually back on the chart. Mm -hmm. And I think we just should we should just continue pushing for that. Stream it if you have the funds, buy it. If not, just continue streaming that. But we're back in iTunes charts uh apple music amazon and spotify of course let's not forget who it is currently the only bts member song that's in billboard hot 100 let's keep it there for as long as we can so let's continue streaming that song um and it seems that 
Jungkook is going to release something. Maybe it's a single. Maybe it's an album. We don't know. But let's continue the momentum forward. Jungkook is releasing something. I mean, he dropped that show on net, on Amazon Prime with uh, is it Jin or am I tripping? Yeah, well, one of those members. But it's it's on Amazon Prime. I'm, I'm gonna watch it. But if he's dropping something, you all let me know in the comment, and I'm gonna check it out. But let's get back to this. Jimin. Um, okay, now for ethical journalism, I would love to start a discussion on how we as a community can actually encourage ethical journalism. I've made a commitment to start uh, a, a, an online news site, magazine site, and I am continuing that. Um, but I would love to get your idea, like, ideas like for us, how do we start encouraging ethical journalism i feel like we started something with this incident in sugar we refuse to engage when any with any kind of article that is negative that's just full of lies that's just click baiting we managed to actually take them out of the top 20 or top 30 in neighbor mm -hmm. you can hardly see them you won't see them unless i mean the answer is already there you know what i mean in terms of like like how she mentioned at the beginning, you know what I mean? Like it's not the whole career that is making this a big of an issue. You know what I mean? It's just those people that like to use negativity as a way of getting that attention or like, you know, making them feel like, you know what I mean? So, and to go back to my point, like, you know, it's only a certain amount of people or group of people, you know, but the way they have this light that beams so much to a point where like the attention actually gets to them and like it attracts it so much. You know, if that can be taken with this, a bunch of these people that, you know, aren't involved in it, then it can definitely make a change. And like, you know, you guys have already done a great job of like, you know, taking that attention from it being on the negativity about, you know, Sugar to it being, oh, we're streaming his music and now it's charting again. That's another thing that people can talk about. You know what I mean? And it's positive. And as she's saying, she's making a online magazine and, you know, they're taking off all this stuff that we're talking badly about. This kind of stuff, you know, and like good stuff are trending. So it's a good start if you tell me, like, you know, if this keeps going and like you most stuff for them. at it, uh, it's we've perfect. started re remembering and writing down names of the journalists that we know are questionable, that we shouldn't engage with them, and also listing down names of journalists that we know are credible. Because mm -hmm. there is this one article, uh, journalist that a lot of people mentioned we should engage with because he is actually good. So Maybe we can start a discussion, uh, especially for those that are following me on Patreon. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, go to the community section and just share I, our ideas on what we can do with that. And um, I'm very close to finishing the website for Asian entertainment and, um, and culture. And I think, you know, I hope that I can contribute into making a difference. I, I hope that I can make a difference or help make a difference you for sure in can. terms and you of... Are, so ethically treating uh, artists and of course art all right <laughs> hope you enjoy that um I, I mean i feel like she raised up some good points and honestly if you ask me i feel like she and everybody else that is involved with this is already doing a good job of like making a change you know it's it start with them you know even though i feel like it should be starting with something else but i guess it start within and then you transfer that energy out and it kind of you know develop into something even bigger so Hopefully it keeps going like this and, you know, she says she has a list of people who are reliable and, like, you know, a sauce that can actually be followed or not. So that's also also a good thing, you know, so people can actually keep it out of the desired content and, you know, keep it moving. So, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. If you all did, make sure you guys subscribe button and like the video. And, you know, go check out this full video if you also want to just watch that. And, yeah, I'm going to see you all next time. Peace.